surface without freaking too many people out. This is a new experiment. The drawing part always upsets the kitties a lot, and I always have a hard time with that. I usually end up letting them air dry. The problem with that is their fur just dries and clots. And then it's almost impossible to comb out in some cases, depending on the fur. So I tried a number of different dryers. The uh, human hair dryer works okay, but it gets really hot. So I ingested, in, actually I've tried several animal hair, several animal hair dryers. One was a really cheap one, which didn't last very long and it also got really hot. It was basically a human hair dryer. It was just called, sold as an animal hair dryer, basically. Sorry about this video here. I'm doing it on my iPad. So, I got another one, another dryer. I'll show it to you here. This is uh, actually not very big. It's only six, six inches square. It's the smallest one they've got. And it's got a long hose on it. It's got a thing so that you can um, attach it up on things. This big bracket up here. Where is it? There it is. That big bracket there. So you can actually do uh, hands off. The other question, the problem I had was do you chase the kitty around the bathroom? They just get real, real freaky when you do that. So this is my first try out with this cage. I bought just a small cage here. The only thing I plan on using it for is to dry kitties with. And I'd like to get them completely dry or almost completely dry before I let them loose. I don't like it. She's starting to do pretty good here. Aren't you sweetie pie? <laughs> but one of the points of drying the kitty is that it actually blows all that loose fur right out of their coat. Probably it's all over the bathroom as we speak. And all over me. This is I think the driest I've ever gotten a kitty. Usually I can't deal with it, neither can they. I did have another animal hair dryer which I invested in a year or two ago. It didn't last very long. They're not cheap either, so by it, it didn't last very long. It just a piece of it broke and it was also this big tube here. It would get so hot I couldn't even hold it. This is actually cool air. It's not heated at all, except perhaps from the heat that's generated by the motor. Yeah. And it's got a spray spray doohickey here, um, a diffuser so that you can diffuse it. And one of the nice things I like about it is that it's infinitely adjustable as far as speed. It does get a little loud as you turn it up. So I'm trying to keep it as low as possible. It gives out a pretty good uh, airflow. I got the, uh, the smallest one they had, and I was worried it might not have enough power, but it's got way more power than I'm going to Oops. Oops. Again, I apologize for the picture here. But it's really partner hair. You can get it dry. No matter what you do when you bathe a kitty, it's going to be stressful. And this is a kitty that's had two baths, one to two baths a month, all of her life. Yeah. She just doesn't keep herself clean, do you, sweet pea? No. Okay, we're almost done. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, here's a chance to get our Tommy. That's one of the reasons I got the cage. I was using it just the animal. I tried several things. I tried uh, storage boxes, something to contain the animal, otherwise they get too, too freaky racing around it. 
and I can't hold them without getting clogged. So uh, I tried a regular cat carrier, but it's not open enough to get this uh, airflow down in below where their their tummy is. Yeah. I'd come right out of there if you just let me. Oh, she's going to be so pretty. She's going to smell really good right until dinner time, you know, snack time. That's not very far off either, is it? All right. Tell the people that you're really just fine. Yeah, there she goes. Okay. <laughs>